Hi, my name is Russell Jones. I'm here in Parker, Colorado to build a guitar with Robbie O'Brien at O'Brien Guitars, an acoustic guitar, an OM model. Okay, here's our pile of material from LMI. Russell, we got six days. Can we do it? Well, it took me five months to build mine, but we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> Well, here we are at the end of day one, and we did a lot today. We uh, picked out the sides, we tapered them down, we bent the sides, we uh, put the end blocks in, put the kerfing in, drove the bus, we did it all. It's just amazing the amount of work we got done today, and I think a lot of it has to do with how it's planned out. And we're not doing one thing, we're doing another, which is a lot of what I've learned today, how to keep things moving. Well, here we are at the end of day two. We managed to get done in two days what probably took me two months to do on my first build by myself. We started off, it's all about time management evidently. We started off this morning, uh, we thicknessed the top. Well, actually we put the rosette in first. And then we got that flat, thickness the top. It was interesting to have uh, someone who's done it so many times before be able to go through the, the flop test with you really and tell you when you're reaching the edge and you know where you probably shouldn't go any further get right up to there then we also um, we made some back braces we fitted them into the back we radiused them and we managed to get the back on today also i'm sure there's other things i'm probably forgetting it's been a pretty interesting experience so at the end of day two tomorrow i understand we're going to be uh, voicing the top so that should be interesting So here we are at the end of day three. Busy day today. We've got the box closed. <laughs> Major milestone. We also uh, put on some bindings, the purfling. We also uh, cut the scarf joint for the neck, uh, glued the veneers onto the headstock, and stacked the heel, laid out the scale length that we're going to use. One of the most, uh, I guess, important parts of the day for me was when we voiced the top, if that's what you want to call it. We, talked a lot about what I was looking for out of the guitar and how to get certain sounds out of the guitar. When we put strings on it, we'll see if I did as I was taught. We'll see.
day four. Here we are, we got the neck on, we got the neck carved, we got the fretboard on, we got the fretboard slotted, and it just started today with uh, just the heel caps all glued up and the scarf joint on. And we put the volute in. Yes, nice, busy day. We fought the neck a little bit, but to see how to get around that with someone who really knows what they're doing and everything turns out right was really beneficial. So that's a, another good advantage of that I have enjoyed by being here. So yeah, tomorrow, finish it up, should be playing, day five. So here we are, <laughs> day five. I understand we broke some sort of record here, but we got it together and it sounds beautiful. Couldn't be happier. We, uh, today, we, um, well, we strung it up obviously. We put the tuners on, we uh, made the nut, we made the saddle, we intonated it. There's stuff I'm leaving out again. Made the bridge, yeah. indeed, and we uh, put the dots in, the fretboard and the side. Turned out wonderfully. I'm thrilled with the product and one of the best things about doing it was getting so many answers while I was here. Um, you know, I made one with his videos before I got here and knew what I was going to ask when I got here. Got those questions asked and you know, well a lot to do is, is made about the speed we can get it done with but I would say more the word is more focused than it is speed. You know we had nine to five each day and really happy. A lot of good answers, a lot of good questions were answered, so yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. 